Afternoon and welcome. I'm Pastor Lance Smith, and this is the Hump Day Midweek Devotional offered by Zwingli UCC in Monticello, Wisconsin. Uh, today I want to talk about Psalms 139, verses 7 through 12. And I picked the message translation because it kind of fits with what I want to talk about today. Is there any place I can go to avoid your spirit, the psalmist says, to be out of your sight? If I climb to the sky, you're there. If I go underground, you're there. If I flew on the morning's wings to the far west horizon, you'd find me in a minute. You're already wait there waiting. And then I said to myself, oh, he even sees me in the dark. At night, I'm immersed in the light. In fact, darkness isn't dark to you. Night and day, darkness and light, they're all the same to you, Lord. It's interesting this time of year, this is, uh, you know, mid-February, and we have been having some really, really cold days, but the last couple of days, it's been kind of warm. And even in the midst of those really, really cold days here in southern Wisconsin, um, we've been seeing some sunlight, lots of sunlight. You know, we ex usually ex this time of year experience single digit and sub-zero temperatures, sometimes double digit, below zero, wind chills. But the interesting thing is, with all this high pressure and everything and very dry weather, the sun is just absolutely brilliant, with the exception of today. Uh, but this is what's been happening for the entire first part of February. Yet this year, because maybe because I'm getting older or I'm not sure why, but it seems like I feel the cold, I cold a little bit more. I just can't seem to escape the winter's chill. As a matter of fact, Jack Frost is really grasping at me. You know, I remember from my science classes and in college and even back in high school that, believe it or not, the sun is actually closer to the Northern hemisphere in the coldest months of the year. You know, the hemisphere is the northern half and the southern half of the globe. The sun's actually closer to the, to the northern half of the globe in the winter. And that's because, you know, the globe goes around the, the sun like this, you see, and it tilts just a little bit on its axis. It's actually three million miles closer to the sun in the wintertime than it is in the summer. Now, that's just weird. How can this be, I wonder? Well, that angle, I guess, and if we pretend that, you know, that, that if we think about it, that, that angle makes a difference in the way that the light hits the globe. In the summertime, there's less of an angle, and even though it's further away, more sun hits the globe and warms the oceans and makes it a little bit warmer. But, you know, the greatest blessing is that the sun always shines on us, Without it, we wouldn't have livable temperatures. It would not have much oxygen in the atmosphere either because green plants are what stabilizes our oxygen in our atmosphere. It seems there's no place that we can go on the surface of the planet that there is no light and that there is no life. And usually where there's life, God is there also because God is the illuminating spirit for all living things. I'd like to pray, I'd like to say a little prayer. I pray the warm rays of the sun give you strength and hope to get you through these cold winter's days with the hope of the sunshine. I hope that it warms your heart. Spring is coming, have faith. Amen. Thank you.